Hi. I am attempting to make cooking videos exciting. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. All I know is that I'm hungry. Okay, let's just get to the point, okay? Let's just, let's try it out. I'm gonna try this. Quinoa is this stuff. Can you see that stuff? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, it's like gluten free, which I don't care about. It's a grain. Cool. It says a complete source of protein. Protein's important because it helps you like burn fat and whatever else. Like you're really full of energy and stuff. <laughs> One time I worked at a restaurant. The chef made fish. No, he made like pot roast of some sort, some sort of beef. <laughs> That's gonna be really embarrassing if pot roast is like a pork. <laughs> this guy who was like Mr. Muscles and he was really hot, but he, anyways, he like sat down across from me. It was so awkward. I was like, is this what you're like on dates? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But anyways, I was like, why are we eating this today? And he was all like, oh, well, it's going to be really busy today. We're really booked up. So um, he made us protein. Infer from that what you wish. Protein is really important if you are a vegetarian or a vegan. I feel like I'm staying like right with the camera. Okay, look, I've moved. Can you see me? I hope you can't see too much of me, though, because I'm not wearing proper pants. Let me move up a little bit. <laughs> so I was a vegetarian for five years. I'm a huge fan of this book, The Kind Diet by Alicia Silverstone. This book is good. This book has a, resp a recipe on quinoa. Look, see, quinoa. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian and you need to get more protein in your life, quinoa will work for you. Did I look like a commercial? That's what I was going for. You don't actually have to buy all these recipe books. I am looking at one, two, three recipe books right now. If you don't own a recipe book, don't worry about it because the directions are on the back of the package. Toast quinoa before boiling. Turn heat onto a low setting, pour quinoa into dry pan, and toast until golden brown. This here is not golden brown, this is burnt. The reason it is jumping is because it is burning. Do not do this. Add enough water to cover the grains. Quinoa will grow to four times its size once water is added. Bring the heat up to make it boil. Then reduce the heat to make it simmer. Cover and let it simmer for 15 minutes. For this recipe, you're gonna need avocados that are ripe. So get some ripe avocados, take out the pit, Take out the avocado part in the middle and then have keep the avocado shell because you're going to need that later. Pick whichever vegetables you want. I chose carrots, onions, tomatoes, garlic, black beans, and cilantro to make it kind of southwestern themed. Once you've decided on the vegetables you want and chopped them all up and have them the way you want them, sprinkle the avocado with pepper and salt. Then mix everything together so that you should end up with something that looks like this. Spoon this mixture into the avocado shells. Use a spoon to do this so that you can push into the middle and make a little dip. Can you see that dip? That's where your quinoa is going to go. So you definitely want to use a spoon to do this because a fork is going to make life way too hard. Speaking of quinoa, it should be time to go back and check on it now it should be finished so let's see uh, and this ladies and gentlemen is why you want to stir your quinoa and not just let it boil and hope that everything works out um it's definitely stuck on the bottom and burnt <laughs> if you do burn your quinoa just use a spoon to scoop off the parts on top that aren't burnt and use that it'll be just fine <laughs> that's what I did <laughs> so grab your stuffed avocado shells and just spoon the non burnt quinoa into the middle and you should end up with quinoa stuffed avocados 